Hey guys, it's Amy Lee Simpson. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. It has been quite a while since I've been on to do a video. I'm doing well. Um, the Lord had given me a word right after Valentine's Day, which was about a week or two after my last video, which was also quite a while, and um, he told me to sit on it. And so I've been sitting on it, and he actually instructed me to give it to some people specifically. And that was the word that I intended to bring to you today as I felt this release in the spirit. Uh, but I was at a prayer meeting last night and the Lord gave me a fresh word that he wanted me to deliver today. So I promise you there will be more words coming, but the word for today is a fresh word from the Lord from March 15th. And uh, that's the word I'm going to deliver to you. But I'm going to read two pieces of scripture before I get started because the Lord really put those on my heart and they tie in really nicely with what he spoke to me last night at this prayer meeting. And the first of those scriptures is in Luke 1. Um, 17 and it said uh, he will go before the Lord as a forerunner with the same power and anointing as Elijah the prophet he will be instrumental in turning the hearts of fathers and tenderness back to their children and the hearts of the disobedient children back to their fathers so we've heard this verse before and what was timely about this for me in this day is this revival that has been taking place um, throughout our nation and starting on college campuses with this generation of restless um, youth that have grown up through pandemic in this very um, digital world of screens and social media and all of this and I really do feel like so many in this generation are searching for a cause um, that they're maybe jumping on the wrong causes, things that they think are worthy because they are looking for purpose and they're looking for a place to make their mark. You know, as they're going through school and they're coming out on the other side, looking for some place to fit as, you know, there is just, there's opportunity, but there's just not a lot of purpose in this day for this generation as they have come through so much. And um, they've really been robbed of some of the simplicity of life that we experienced um, prior to this digital age. And so I really feel like God is stirring up something in this generation to give them peace like never before, but also give them purpose and propel them into their destinies for the Lord and for his glory. And that begins with fathers. And so I really do feel like this word today is geared toward fathers and helping them usher in this coming revival um, in this fatherless generation and in just a generation where fathers have been gone and working and busy and there's just been this disconnect where God wants to restore that relationship. The next scripture I want to read to you is in Hebrews 2, uh, 6 through 8 and it says, What is man that you would even think about him or care about Adam's race? You made him lower than the angels for a little while. You placed your glory and honor upon his head as a crown and you have given him dominion over the works of your hands for you have placed everything under his authority. That means that God has nothing outside the control of his son, even if presently we have yet to see this accomplished. Okay, so that is the preface for you. I know that that seems a little bit disjointed, but when I read this word, I really do feel like it's going to tie it together in a meaningful way for you and really compel you into your calling and to just restore broken relationships among you and your children. Um, and for this next generation to really propel them into these coming days of revival and greater glory. We want to see that continue and just sweep the nation. And I'm so encouraged and excited to see what God is doing. Um, and even the word that the Lord gave me that I've been sitting on speaks to that effect. It came to me just before um, the revivals broke out. And it really speaks about this revival of first love. So I cannot wait to give that to you. So stay tuned because that will be coming. Um, but the word for you today is called Your Dominion. The Lord says this day, stay in the fight. I am with you. I have anointed your hands, put fire in your tongue, put a holy boldness in your step. Do not belittle what I have given into your hands, for I will multiply the seed that is watered. Fruitfulness is your inheritance. Authority is your mantle. Speak and see the spark ignite a fresh wave of revival, first in your children, then through your streets and on every campus. Watch as it topples every idol, breaks every yoke, abolishes every fear of man, and restores fathers as pillars, as kingdom builders. For you are the gatekeepers of my Holy Spirit. What you bind is bound, what you loose shall be loosed. 
The boom of spiritual awakening is set ablaze from your prompting. So stay in the fight, call it forth, usher in the days of greater glory. It will be done as you proclaim in my name. So I really feel like that is a call to fathers to step into your role today to help ignite this spiritual awakening by mending relationships and by calling things forth. Again, I've, I know I've said it and the, the word speaks to it so tremendously, but there is such power in what you speak. So speak it forth today. Start decreeing and declaring and prophesying over your children, over things that are broken. Call back restoration and we will see those days ushered in in the days to come. All right, guys, it was good to see you. I love you. He loves you. Have the best day, and we'll see you next time.